When I was growing up, visibility was so important, and unfortunately, I didn't have a Laverne Cox or a Janet Mock or an Ashley Marie Preston to look to. Typically in traditional media, we're placed there to teach people something or to be the token. And it's important that we have a media presence in which we don't have to educate or teach, but we get to simply be who we are in our full authenticity. I have a show entitled Shook with Ashley Marie Preston on Reverie, and it examines news, politics, entertainment, and pop culture through a social justice lens. I have a great sense of pride in having a platform in which I can speak truth to power. I feel a lot of times in media, our narrative is diluted or it's sanitized. And I'm a very opinionated person. And I feel that it's important to let those who are watching and listening understand that they have a voice and they shouldn't be apologetic about that. I think one of the greatest opportunities is that through my platform, I'm able to show the world that we care about many more issues other than gender identity. We typically don't have the problem with who we are. It's society that has the problem with who we are. And so when we talk about things outside of our own scope, not only does it show that we really are contributors to society at large, but we get to model the world that we wish to live in. I think the most important thing for the LGBTQIA community to remember is that pride is intersectional. We all come from different walks of life. We have different experiences, circumstances, and we all have a voice. And unfortunately, what happened after marriage equality was that many people took their flags and their wedding bands and their new husbands and wives and went home, not recognizing that there are some of us of trans experience who still have to struggle. We we, on a daily basis, deal with state-sponsored violence and systemic barriers that prevent us from thriving and having the best quality of life. And so when we think of Pride and when we go to these festivals and these events, it's important to look around and figure out who we can be a better ally to. That's what community empowerment looks like. If there was anything that I would wish for the generation coming behind me, it is to always, always, always be unapologetic. We should never have to shrink our blackness, our brownness, our queerness, our identity in any capacity. When we show up as exactly who we are, we give other people permission to do exactly the same thing.